Okay, sitting at the front of your chair, rocking back and forth and stuff and feeling those sitting bones, feel your sitting bones. Sit right up on them. That's your pelvic structure. Sit right up on them. And then in between those sitting bones, your pubic bone, and then you pull your pubic bone up this way. And it's going up into the navel. So your sitting bones and then your pubic bone. Now in the back, in between there, is your sacred bone, part of the vertebrae, is your sacrum. So there's your sacrum right between the sitting bones. And then you're pulling up the spine, starting with that lower back. Just try to lift it. Just try to, it doesn't stretch that much, but try to lift it and stretch it up. Then you'll go to the middle of your back, has a little curvature, but pull your shoulder blades together. And that puffs up your chest, that breastbone, sternum. And then push your chin in and tilt it down just a little bit. And you should feel the stretch in the back of your neck. That's your upper back. And it's what those vertebrae are holding up your skull. Plus, the first two vertebrae, so always remember that they're going up into the brain. They're going up into the brain stem. Also, the spinal, that's why we have to stretch that spine so the spinal cord can get up into that brain stem. And that's the job of the vertebrae is to, is to, to keep that lifeline going. It's the job of the vertebrae so that the spine can, spinal cord can get up into the brain stem. And that makes us more alert, makes us more alert. And then try to lift from the crown of your head. So you're stretching your neckline on the side and pressing the shoulders down, opening up the collarbone. All of this is called body alignment. Very, very, very important. Pressing down the ball and the heel of the foot. That's called grounding. You're grounding your feet into the floor. So you got your lower torso, dropping the gluteus maximus off the waistline, just straight down, sitting on the sitting bone, grounding your sitting bones, your pelvic structure into the chair, into the seat of the chair and pressing your feet down. Your knees should be in line with your heels. Never have your knees over your toes. That stretches all these ligaments and tendons in here. And that's not what you want to do. You just want those knees to be in a relaxed state. So have them in line with your heel and press down. Now just bring your arms down by your side. This is called the mountain term. Um, and it's called being strong like a mountain. And this term is the layman term for tanasana, being strong like a mountain. And so we're going to breathe with our arms full, coming just forward, not up or anything, just forward, inhaling, and then exhaling down. And a four count, so there's no stop. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale down, three, Four, one more time, inhale. And exhale through your nostrils. Now, the whole point of that is realizing that the arms and the legs are extremities. So you can move your arms and keep your body pulled up. You don't have to move your arms and round your back when you come down and pull up. Keep the torso lifted and move your arms separate. That's what I'm trying to make an issue of. So bring the arms forward, interlace them, and bend at the elbow, but keep the armpits open. Work these triceps. Right here, exhale. Inhale. Bring your thumbs, touch your thumb. Exhale. Trying to just open up our lungs. Inhale, open up your heart. Exhale. When you inhale, remember that you're expanding like a balloon. And then when you exhale, you're collapsing in that diaphragm. Pull it in, pull it in. And relax the hands back down here again. Now remember, every time you inhale, make it big, make it strong. 
Inhale, spiral the energy around and then keep the bone structure in place. Keep the skeleton right where it is as you exhale and pull in. Drop the gluteus maximus off the waistline. You've got two glutes on the side. Pull them in, squeeze in. You want to activate all of your thigh muscles. Quadriceps in the front, pushing down, meet back of the thighs, your hamstrings. Ab, ductor thigh muscles, inner thigh muscles, adductors, they help to squeeze in. So you want to feel that. Now, I want you to just cross your hands and feel yourself working those inner thigh muscles. And keep the upper torso lifted. I'm in the lower torso. This is my inhale. Now I'm going to keep the skeleton lifted here, but I'm going to exhale and open up my hip sockets and my groin area and relax my ankles so they get a stretch naturally. Then I'm going to turn my arms over and my hands over so that I can keep this open so I can breathe, keeping my chest open, shoulders back. Inhale. Come back in parallel. Four counts. And then exhale. Pull the pubic bone up into the navel. At no time, what I'm trying to make an issue of, am I rounding? I'm pulling up. I'm working on pulling up. I'm working on opening up my chest. Shoulder blades together. Inhale. One more time. Squeeze. Exhale. Now you can exhale through your mouth. Remember, I always tell you that you can blow the air out like you're blowing out a candle, or you can sigh like, ah, just a relief, let go. Because when you do yoga, let's say inhale, come back center, you don't want to have any tension. You don't want to force your movements. You want your muscles, all of them, to relax when you exhale. All right? So that's the feeling that you want to have. Let's bring our legs forward. Get on your heels. And now let's work our joints. Your ankles, your toes, one toe up, one down, stretching. But don't do anything in your knees. Keep your knees relaxed. Just let them move, but don't push down in them. Let them stretch out. Bend them and stretch them out. Work in your sockets. Work in your ankles. Good. And then notice, you work in these extremities, the legs. But that upper torso, you're sitting on your sitting bones, it's not moving. That area, this area is not moving. I'm just moving the extremities, my lower extremities, my legs. Good. Now slide that right foot in and keep pulling up. Muscles move bones. Slide the left foot in. Pull up and back into body alignment. Great, bring your arms back down to your side. Stretch your left arm out on the angle a little bit and tilt your head to the right and then stretch your right arm down. Keep your chest up and don't, don't move your head, but to the side. Then inhale back up, stretch both arms down. Exhale, tilt to the left. Inhale back up. Exhale. Remember when you exhale, pull in the diaphragm. Inhale back up. Exhale. And inhale back up center. Good. Now this is called goal post, like you're pushing up against something or stopping something from coming in. So you're in this position here. You're going to open up because we're working on Circulation, breathing good. Inhale, pull the shoulder blades together. And now I want you to just add that chin, stretch your neckline. And then exhale, bring your chin in your chest, open up the shoulder blades, open up those shoulder blades and drop in the chin in your chest and stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, just the upper torso, and exhale. One more time. Inhale, shoulder blades together, puff up that chest, 
collarbones open. Exhale, pull the pubic bone up in the navel. And come back to neutral. Chin pulling in, chest up. Back into the, we call this really the flat line. So we're going to use this flat line or back into Tanasana. But I'm going to stretch my arms back as I take my upper torso and let it go forward. Then I'm going to inhale back up. But at no time is I'm hinging. So at no time is I'm moving my head or rounding my shoulders. None of that. I'm moving from the waistline. That's where my hinge is coming from. Just the upper torso going forward. I didn't say down. I said forward. I'm pressing down in my feet. And then inhale back up. Keeping that chest lifted. Exhale, pull the pubic bone up into the navel, squeeze in. And then inhale back up. Now, see, can you add your arms coming forward at the same time? So this time you're going to, this is our inhale. Then you go exhale, hinge forward. Now, see, can you lift and stretch your arms? Inhale up. Exhale, hinge forward, arms go back. Inhale up, exhale, inhale up, exhale, inhale up, last time, exhale, leave the arms down and come back onto your sitting bones. Now, if you paid attention, when you go forward, you're not, you're off of your sitting bones. But when you come back up straight, there you are. You're on those sitting bones, right? You're on them. Let's go back into the goal post position again. And this time, we're going to open up. We're not going to move our head on this part. But now we're going to put our left hand here, remember? And now we're going to tilt our head, ear in line with the shoulder, and exhale to the side. This arm stretches down. This armpit stretches up. Elbow goes back. Just to open up and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Tilt to the other side. Feel that stretch in this triceps, armpit, all the side muscles, obliques, the latissimus dorsi. One more time. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. And inhale up and relax the hands down. Now we're gonna take the feet. You wanna work flex extend to been sitting here a little while. Five, six, seven, eight, and down. Inhale and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down. Good. Now I want you to rotate the ankle. Two, three, four, reverse it. Two, three, four, and down. Lift it in one, two, three, four, and reverse it. Two, three, four, and down. Now we're going to go into that hip socket, keep the foot flexed, and rotate in the thigh bone. Two, three, four, and reverse it out. Just moving it around in that socket. Three, four, down. Inhale, and one, two, three, four, and reverse it. Two, three, four, and down. Good, just to open that up. Let's open our legs up now. So again, we're working in the groin area, which is so very important. Pressing open, using the heel of my hands to work these inner thighs, feeling them activated, stretching, and opening them up as I take my upper torso and pull it up. Pull my upper torso up. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to do the twist that we always do. I'm just doing it with my legs open. So I do two exercises in one. So now I'm gonna take that left hand and put it on my right knee or anywhere around here, thigh, and put the left hand in, the, I mean, I'm sorry, my left hand and my right hand in the back of the seat and lift up. Then exhale, I'm gonna twist my waistline. But I'm gonna stay seated on, on my sitting bones because I'm just moving the upper torso. Then inhale, come back center. Exhale and change, back, inhale up, exhale, pull the pubic bone up in the navel, 
and see, can you twist that waistline a little bit? Now, my shoulder is not coming forward. I'm bringing my shoulder blades together so that I keep my chest open. Then come back center one more time. Turn, pull the shoulder blades together, lift the chest up, exhale, pull the pubic bone up into the navel. Feel that twist. Don't have to do anything. Relax, last time, turn. Just hold on to the chair in the back. Hold on here. Don't bring this leg in. Let the leg stay open as you inhale up and then exhale and twist and pull yourself around. Holding here. Right? Then come back center. Okay, so you're working the upper torso away from the lower torso, doing that twist. Twists are so very important. They help your elimination. You can do twists many, many different ways. That's the reason why I'm taking this one today. Now I'm going to add these abdominal muscles below the navel or all around the navel because we got the colon right here, and then in the small in here in the small intestines. This is for absorption. This is elimination. It's just some digestion. We got so much happening here. If you're having any of those kind of problems, elimination or anything, you need to just tap or pat this area, or you can make a little fist. But understand that this is very, very important. You've got the head brain, you've got the heart brain, and you've got the gut brain. Three brains, and you have to decide which one is more important. <laughs> I think the heart is more important myself. <laughs> But the gut is important. Sometimes we have that gut feeling. You've heard that word, oh, I got a gut feeling. Go with it. Because <laughs> it's usually going to be right. So this area is very, 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 very important. That's my point. Okay, so you're going to work on inhaling through your nostrils. And you're going to exhale and pull in this area. Like, it's like you're trying to get something out your nose. Inhale. And this is called the breath of fire. We're not going to do it real fast, but we're going to do that 10 times just to get that effect of, of it's going to give you energy. <laughs> and of course, it's helping your breathing, uh, your respiratory system. Ready? Let's try it. And. And just pull it in there. Right. Now, I want you to be able to either cross your hands, put your hands on your shoulders. And if you've got a certain amount of flexibility, you can take your hand and interlace them and put them behind your neck so that you keep your chest open. This is going to make you be able to breathe better. And now I'm going to add that twist. This is going to be my inhale. You don't have to go that far. This is going to be my exhale. And we're going to do 10 again. Ready? And. Okay. Now, now I'm going to do it one more time. But this time we're going to start to the left. Inhale and exhale to the right. Remember, every time you exhale, pull in your diaphragm. Ready? Here we go. Good. Your hands down. Just do normal breathing for a minute. Inhale and exhale. It should eat, heat up a little bit. That's why we call it the breath of fire. Now we're going to take that left hand, put it on the inside, doing a modification for the side angle. Put the right hand on the hip. Inhale, press open your sockets. And exhale and twist the waistline to the right, right? We just took that and slide down the left. Now, inhale and salute. And exhale, stretch that arm hit and stretch over. Give yourself a stretch wherever it's comfortable. Then bring your arm back down and inhale your center back up. Exhale and change. Open up, inhale. Exhale and twist, slide down. Inhale, salute. 
Exhale, stretch that armpit. Bring the arm down and inhale yourself up. Change, one more set. Inhale, press open. Exhale, twist, slide down. Inhale, salute. Exhale, stretch that armpit. So you stretch that whole upper torso over. And then bring the arm down and inhale yourself up. Last time, press, hand on the hip. Press open. Exhale, twist the waistline to the left. And slide down to the right. Inhale the hand up to the forehead. Now stretch those triceps right here, latissimus dorsi, obliques. You're really stretching all those side muscles. Then bring the arm down and inhale yourself up. Exhale. Pull in at the diaphragm. Such a good exercise. Now, see, can you be in this position? And you can. You know, if you're feeling something, you can shake it out a little bit. But be in this position, see, can you add a twist? Huh? Is someone saying something? Okay, press open. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to twist the waistline to the left. Exhale, and you're going to press the right groin open. Open that leg up. And then you're gonna look over the right shoulder. Exhale. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, twist the waistline to the right and press the left leg open. And then look over the left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left and look over the right shoulder. Inhale, center, one more time. Exhale, twist. Look over the left shoulder as you twist to the right. And inhale, back center. Good, and work your legs in and out. All right, so good. Now let's just add one more, uh, working just some of the uh, those muscles, like we working in the knees, we need to work in the hip sockets because these are the two things that go on us, <laughs> decalcify on us real quick. These hip sockets, so flex that foot, remember. Open out to the side, but keep the upper torso facing front. Then pull it back in. We've warmed up the hip sockets, so this shouldn't be hard. Inhale, put it to the side. Exhale, keep this one here in line with your instep. Inhale, lift it back and pull it down one more set inhale open up exhale inhale back and down one more time inhale open up exhale down inhale lift it exhale and put it down great now we're going to go back to the spine because that's our lifeline i want you to work on cat and cow so what do we do in cat and cow you inhale, separate, take the gluteus maximus off the waistline, drop it down, but lift the chest up, pull the shoulder blades together, and stretch your neckline. This is cow. Now I want you to tuck your buttocks under, bring your chin in your chest, tuck under, come off of your sitting bones, and pull the pubic bone up in the navel. This is cat, round the spine. So really concentrate here, below the navel. Inhale. Lift up out of the lower torso. Exhale, tuck under. You should feel a little stretch in that lower back. It's so very good for that lower back. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. And inhale. And exhale and press down into your feet and come back up into neutral, okay? So that's your round back and your arch back. Bring your arms down by your side. You're gonna bring your chin in your chest. You're gonna exhale and fold over. This is another way of doing our round back. It's folding over. I'm stretching the total spine. Then from here, I'm gonna lift my chin up 
my chest up and I go into the arch back. Forward. Now I'm arching. Then I bring my chin back in my chest and I round. Folding. Inhale, arch up. And now from this arch up, I'm going to lift, keep lifting my upper torso and come back into the flat back. Now I'm up into my mountain pose. Here's my shoulders, there's my hips, body alignment. Okay. Now I'm going to reverse it. <clears throat> I'm going to go into my arch back, forward, not down, forward. Then I'm going to drop my chin in my chest and I'm going to go into my fold, my round back. Just relax my spine. Now, I'm going to roll up. What is a roll up? I'm going to pull back, sitting on my sitting bones, because I'm off of them. And I'm going to roll up from my lower back, lower abdominal muscles, and come to the middle, breastbone, and then lift my chin straight, coming up into the flat line. Okay? So you arch forward, you lift your chin and your chest, arch forward. Shoulder blades together, arch back, drop, fold, round back, and then roll back onto the sitting bones and roll up from the lower back to the middle back to the upper back. Coming into your flat lines. Those are your back poses that are very, very important. Now, Closing with the arms. I'm going to add the arms. We're going to inhale the arms up from the side. Remember, what moves the arms? These muscles, these triceps, all up in here, armpits. They move the arms. And I pull up out of that lower torso. Now I'm going to lift that chest and stretch. Then I'm going to inhale and come back up straight. This is working on our sun salutation. Then I'm going to hinge forward. Straight, flat back, and then I'm going to fold. Drop my chin in my chest. Then I'm going to arch up. Then I'm going to exhale down. Turn my arms back over, lift my chest, sit on my sitting bones, and pull myself back up. Bring my hands together into Namaste. Ready? Inhale, let's do it one more time. Exhale, stretch your chin, lift your chest. Inhale, come up into a flat line, straight line. Hinge forward and fold. Drop your chin in your chest. Inhale, lift your chin in your chest, arch up. And fold again, drop your chin down. Turn the arms over, lift your chest, pull back, sitting on the sitting bones, and pull the upper torso away from the lower torso, and then bring the hands into Namaste. Okay, great. Give your legs shake out. Four, change, flex the foot. These are things you should always do, you know, just shake it out. Get a little shake, you know. Keep that blood flow working once you've been sitting for a little while. And you give me a closed class. Turn the arms over, ready? Inhale, center to your heart. Exhale, two more times. Inhale, and exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming. Blessings.